This is just a super quick video showing you how to calculate the average molar mass of an equilibrium mixture of gases. This is something that you might be asked just to figure out logically, but you know, it's nice not to be surprised in exams. So here goes. So in this question, we have been asked to calculate the average molar mass of a mixture of gases formed when nitrogen and hydrogen mix. And obviously they're going to come to an equilibrium position with ammonia as the product. At equilibrium, we have got number of moles of ammonia, hydrogen and nitrogen present. Well, the average mole of mass is simply comprised of the mole fraction of each gas times its molar mass. So let's write that down. It is the mole fraction of each gas times by its molar mass. And then we're going to add each of those together. So it works on pretty much the same principles as working out the partial pressure for a gas in a mixture. So let's start with ammonia, NH3. Our mole fraction, well, we've got one mole of ammonia, the total number of moles of gases, so that's 1 plus 3.6 plus 13.5, comes to 18.1 and we're going to multiply that by the molar mass for ammonia 17.0 grams per mole and that comes to 0.939 and we're going to repeat that for hydrogen and for the nitrogen so for hydrogen 3.6 over 18.1 times 2.0 grams per mole 0.398 and the mole fraction for nitrogen 13.5 over 18.1 times 28.0 and that comes to 20.88. If we add all that together, so we're talking about the mole fraction from each of the three gases multiplied by their molar mass, that comes to 22.2 grams per mole. So the average molar mass of our equilibrium mixture is 22.2 grams per mole. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the blurb below, it will take you straight to the Crunch Chemistry School, where you'll find all the resources you need to get that A-star grade at A-level. Together we can do this.